Well, hello, retro game players. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Marcus. I'm going to be talking to you about a really cool game today. A whole new world. Wait a minute, what the hell's going on around here? Hang on a second. Ugh. There we go. Much better. Ugh. So a whole new world takes place on two different planes, which is really a cool game dynamic. Um, so this game, originally I picked up from Limited Run. I bought the PS4 version, and I got a NES cartridge, which I will be showing you guys, um, which is pretty cool too, which is kind of a retro throwback style. Um, but First Press Games made a very cool collector edition of this, and it is awesome, and they sent it to me to review and to open up and unbox it. So. Here it is. This thing is awesome. I have not opened it up yet. I'm going to go ahead and open it here in a second and show you what's in it. Um, then I'll show you some gameplay footage of the game itself. And then I'll show you what's on the NES card. So let's get down to business. So here it is, the collector edition of First Press Games' Whole New World. Um, this is pretty impressive in size. It's definitely large. I love this like crazy looking lithiograph thing on the back. Um, also, there is a commemorative coin that also uh, comes with this, which is really cool. This side, it's got their logo. And then there's the actual character. This is pretty cool, actually. Very heavy. Like, yeah, definitely got some weight to it. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Um, I believe this was only released on the Switch. Um, so if you're interested in this collector edition, you're going to need to uh, have a Switch. However, the gameplay that I'm going to be showing is actually going to be the PS4 version. Because that's uh, what I have. I actually don't have a Switch, you guys. Which is pretty funny, um, considering. But let's check this thing out. Really, really nice quality of packaging here. I love how it looks like a old spellbound book or something, but that is awesome. High gloss. Really, really nice. Really cool. And I do collect Switch games. I have quite a few, so one day when I get a Switch, I will be playing it. So there's the uh, nothing special there. That's just the outer cover. And inside looks like we have a kind of a binder. And these are cool. Wow. Wow. It's like a high gloss plastic it's almost like oh, it's like transparent it's kind of like the the uh, flyers for the ads this adventure will turn your world upside down really cool here's the Japanese version I actually like that better I like the Japanese art better I don't know. It just I like this face up here. That's really cool. So they go in this kind of high gloss slip cover. That's actually really neat. Kind of like the box. That's kind of what that is. Very cool. And then we've got more here. Wow, this is pretty crazy how much stuff is in here actually. This is like Another slip cover. Now this is the Japanese cover. I love how this material, it's like, it reminds me of like, you know what this reminds me of is like those science uh, um, anatomy, you know, like the skeletal thing and then you peel it back and you see the muscle layers. That's what this is like. It's kind of transparent. Or at least this one is. It's got the, the moon. It's very cool. In the back. Mad Gear. Man, they made a cool game. It's definitely awesome. 
Okay, we've got poster. Here's the Japanese poster. I will definitely be putting that one up. I dig that. And then the American one. It's kind of cool. It's got like the castle upside down in the background. It's got his potions in hand. The Potion Master. Okay, we got one more. This is cool. It's almost like an NES like Famicom style. I'm not sure. It's just kind of a little bit different. It's all in Japanese. Here's one switch cover. So this is the Japanese cover here you can insert. And here's the American one. So two different styles, which is very, very awesome. And here's the more traditional US release. Oh, nope, this is actually Japanese too. Very cool. Oh, so it's just, that's interesting. So it's like, these are all, this one is English. Let's see. There's Japanese, so you've got three Japanese covers you can swap out. That's pretty sick. And let's see what this is. All right. The Joy-Con controls. Kind of like a little cheat sheet on, in case you get lost on what the hell you're doing. And a Japanese manual. It's actually a really good manual. Love that art. Seriously, reminds me of Wizards and Warriors on NES. That's pretty cool. That's the guy in the beginning that comes and attacks you. He's, I think he's the last boss. Those must be the uh, developers, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's kind of a funny picture. Right on. Oh, a little comic in the back. Wow. It's more of a graphic novel. Or a micro novel, I guess, but it's kind of cool. There's no thought bubbles or anything. That's awesome. All right, we've got the game and the soundtrack. I like the CD case. It's like kind of like in one of those like Japanese style CD cases, almost like a PS1 Japanese game. It's got the side card thing. Two soundtracks, two styles. Whole new world. Two worlds, two soundtracks, two styles. I was influenced by the soundtrack of Mega Man 2, Final Fantasy 6, and Castlevania, as well as Metroid on the NES. I wanted to have an epic and medieval sounding soundtrack, but it should sound as active and action-like as possible. Original soundtrack, 8-bit version. So this is actually cool because if you guys are interested in the NES cart, which is going to have the soundtrack, um, they have a pre-order open right now on their website. So you can check that out. They also have some upcoming releases like Rival Mega Gun, I think and some other cool titles but um, so this is the um, 8-bit version which is actually what we've been listening to <laughs> the art's really neat on this I like the pastels that's cool track listing hardware oh that's cool Korg X50 buyer dynamic a personal computer. Software. Fama Tracker. Mulab 6. Odyssey. Cool. 
So it's all about the soundtrack. Okay. And then over here, original soundtrack, 16-bit version. So this is the one that's on the Switch and uh, on the PS4 version that I happen to have too. But what's that? You guys remember how like, I don't know, man, what's the one CD that did this that was really crazy? I think it was like Tools uh, Enema. Did you guys ever see that? It had like a little weird thing that you could see behind the back of the CD, the CD holding thing. And if you released it, if you pulled it out, it was a cow uh, with a tongue doing something to itself. I won't spoil it for you if you have that CD. I think it's the Enema one. So anyway, here, let's pop this out. This is cool. It's almost an Easter egg. But check that out, guys. It's reversible. So I can actually put it back in and have it be the Japanese version. Which is what I'm going to do. And guess what? This side looks like it pops out too. Wow, awesome. That's actually probably the nicest soundtrack presentation I've ever seen. I've never seen one in this style of a double case like that and be able to reverse the art. Awesome. Okay. Oh. I can put this in here too. Flip it around. Nice. Man. That is very cool. Okay. The Switch game. This is totally like the Ultra logo. And isn't Mad Gear the uh, gang in Final Fight? I'm pretty sure it is. So another manual. This is the American version. So I could essentially swap out the uh, Japanese manual and put in whatever cover art I want which is also very cool, man. Wow. So, I don't know. It's like so many choices. Like, what? which one do you want to go with? Anyway, it's very cool. Every time I see a Switch game, I want to lick it. Just kidding. I want to do that. Okay, so there is the unboxing of this amazing game. Um, well done, guys. I'm really looking forward to seeing what else you guys put out there. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys the PS4 version because that's what I have. And then I'll show you uh, what the NES cart that I bought previously um, from Limited Run, which it looks like the one from these guys is probably going to be better, to be honest, anyway. So um, I don't know. Check that out. Go to their website. Um, thanks again, you guys. And let's jump into some gameplay. All right, here it is, a whole new world. And as you can see, the art style is definitely retro, pixelated. The music is very good, it's chiptune style. And so yeah, you basically have the ability to go between vertical, or it's kind of like a vertical switch between the good and evil worlds. Lord Baddock, leader of one of the strongest factions. You know, Lord Baddock, right? Whole new world. Very cool intro. It's actually kind of reminiscent of like... What does that remind me of? Almost like Shovel Knight or something. Alright, so here's the intro. The ground of Versailles started to tremble. Abysses and vast holes appeared everywhere. Got your little trembling effect. Hethero, unseen dark, evil monsters rose up in vast numbers. No weapons appeared to be effective against them. Not a single weapon 
except those wielded by the Potion Master. Good old Potion Master, you know, you can count on that guy for anything. Oh man, people are dead. So one thing you'll notice, um, at least with this first weapon, is that it's got the arc. Um, which is kind of a pain. And then I think this is the first hole, so check this out. Huh? Eh? Definitely pretty cool. And you can see how you toggle back and forth. And as the levels go, it definitely adds some really cool um, level design. Oop, I got hit. And you can power up your weapons too, which I don't think I have that quite yet. And then um, there's... Here's a health right there, the chicken leg bone. It's a horde. Oh, that was stupid. That's when the arc works for you. Pretty cool music. That's a checkpoint. Okay. Look at that scary bastard, dude. Oh! Oh man, I've, I've literally like missed every shot. Get him. Oh. <clears throat> Look, <laughs> he's got the little king. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Toast. Thanks, Faye. Oh, good. This is where you get the charge attack, which is absolutely useful. So this map screen totally reminds me of Wizards and Warriors. It is similar to Ghosts and Goblins, but I don't know. Something about it. So this is kind of really more like the first level. You can see how the gameplay mechanic lets you go between the different kind of areas. It's like a whole new world! <laughs> Where's that guy going? Pretty cool. Oh. Thank God this game has the charging up ability, because that straight projectile attack, man. Otherwise, it is so hard. Oh, he got me too? What? No! No! Ah! Oh my god. Dude, he just wrecks me with the lightning. There. Yes! 
No, what was that, dude? Oh, you've got to be joking. <laughs> Nothing like having someone laugh at you in an 8-bit voice, you know what I mean? It's the best. Okay, so am I gonna get killed again? I did, dude! What is that? Maybe I just shouldn't be in the air. I don't really know. Whatever. Okay. You got lightning potion. L1, R1. about damn time so yeah this is all very reminiscent of like well kind of ghosts and goblins but really more wizards and warriors iron sword i love those games but just the graphics the diamonds in that game you collect diamonds so it's just i don't know the artwork here is is like just like wizards and warriors which um if you've played iron sword and seen the uh cover art that is uh Fabio there, representing. Yeah, very cool game mechanic. Oh, it's kind of freaky. Yeah, it's weird, but even the enemies remind me so much of Wizards and Warriors. I wonder if the original um, developers like thought of the original game, Wizards and Warriors. I don't know. It just reminds me of it so much. <clears throat> yeah, and the music's really cool, too. Good thing I got that checkpoint. All right, so I'm going to stop uh, the PS4 version now. Um, thank you guys so much for sending me this game and, and uh, sending me the collector limited edition. That's very, very cool. We're going to move on to um, the NES version now so you can see what that one looks like. So uh, let's check that out now. All right, so here we are. Did you think there was going to be gameplay? There's not. Unfortunately, this is just a soundtrack album on the NES card itself which is still kind of cool considering that it's a bunch of chip tunes this is the uh, one track that we heard quite a bit of though it definitely jams but uh, unfortunately it's not a real game which is funny because I thought maybe it was some light version like some trimmed down version or something this was from limited run so there you go guys that's whole new world um thanks again to first press games you guys are awesome really appreciate you guys sending that over and uh until next time you guys know what to do you keep that shit retro by playing whole new world on the ps4 or listen to the soundtrack on the nes later on